What the Funko? Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is number 234 from the main pop lineup, and she is from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. I also want to point out that this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Now, if any of you guys watched my Hot Topic Hot Cash Funko Pop haul that I uploaded like a little while back, you'll know that I bought these Funko Pops without really knowing why I actually bought them. It was one of those impulse buys for sure. <laughs> like I saw them on the store shelves. There's only a few of them left, so I just decided to grab them. To this day, I'm not really sure why I even have these Funko Pops. In conclusion, to draw that story short, to put a stake through that story, I am just gonna give these Funko Pops to my sister. She really loves Disney. She loves anything involving Disney, especially the Disney villains. So to my sister, Bun Bun the Bunbarian, these Funko Pops will be going to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and review them before I give them to you this weekend. So with that said, let's take a look at Queen of Hearts. Now we gotta rotate her very slowly because if we don't do that, she will become very agitated and she may just chop off our heads. <laughs> because if you guys know anything about the Queen of Hearts, uh, she really enjoys chopping off people's heads. Which is, I, I guess that's fine. Uh, some people are into that kind of stuff. Uh, I personally would like to keep my head on, but... <laughs> It's okay, I'm willing to try anything once. So let's start off with the Queen of Hearts' head. Queen of Hearts' is that even a word? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, she has those basic Funko Pop eyes with those wispy eyelashes, very feminine. And she has that big snarky nose. Look at that, it's just like a piece of Play-Doh just slapped onto her face. Works perfectly. And if we move to the top of her head, you can see that she does have her crown. Unfortunately, as I suspected, there is some bleeding paint right on the top of her hair. Her crown is kind of just melting on th onto the top of her head, but rotating it around, it's pretty clean. There you go, you can see it again. Even more bleeding paint, unfortunately. But other than that, everything else is pretty cleanly sculpted. She has her nice little bun bun on the back of her head. Also, kind of looks like a mini snowman. Actually, looks like a duck. A black snowman with a duck beak. <laughs> It's the best way to describe it. And there you go, just a little bit of white bleeding paint. May need to grab a black Crayola marker and just scribble that in to fix this up. Oh geez, holy crap. Look at, look at the bottom of her head. Oh, that's, that's pretty messy. Luckily, when you're looking at these Funko Pops, you get to view them like this. So you don't get to see the ugliness underneath her neck. But holy cow, man. That is some ugly neck uh, blemishes. Kind of like she has an acne problem on the bottom of her neck. But it's okay. Moving on to the bottom of her dress. Holy, what is she holding? Oh my gosh, she's holding a bird. Okay, anyways, we're gonna look at her dress first. Looking at her dress, you can, you can see the Queen of Hearts design all embroidered all over the body sculpt. This is very nice. You got some red and black contrast and you have some yellow and black contrast, which just in general, this looks like a really awesome dress. You can definitely tell that she is commanding her position as the Queen of Hearts. And to top it all off, she is holding a very, very sad looking bird on her right hand. He looks very confused, like he has no idea why he's here and why he's about to be pummeled to death by this large, gigantic, heart-shaped lady. So unfortunately for this bird, things don't look too good for him. But yeah, there you go. That is the Queen of Hearts Funko Pop. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that the Queen of Hearts Funko Pop does come with this tiny little Funko Pop too, as you can see right here. Ugh. Pull that out. Now, I'm not entirely sure who this is or what this is from Alice in Wonderland, but feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But I always enjoy the fact that some of these Funko Pops do come with these little tiny Funko Pop figurines. It really adds personality to the characters that these tiny little Funko Pops come with. And yeah, there you go. Basic Funko Pop eyes as usual, tiny little sculpted eyebrows. I really like his hair. Like, man, this guy, ooh, he's styling. <laughs> and he also has this nice pink little nose. Uh, they really... Oh man, oh, that's unfortunate. He's got some mold work crotch issues going on. But other than that, this is a nice little Funko Pop figure that comes with the Queen of Hearts Funko Pop. And in my personal opinion, if you like Queen of Hearts, if you like Alice in Wonderland, uh, yeah, definitely get this Funko Pop. Again, I don't really know too much about the Queen of Hearts or Alice in Wonderland. Like, that's not really my thing. <laughs> But if we're talking about it from a Disney Funko Pop design perspective, this is, this is pretty good. I really enjoy the different paint work, different mold works of this Funko Pop figure, and you really can't go wrong with this one. But that said, again, thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Tubby Mora from the Infinity Sandwich, and if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to lick, sub sandwich, and condiment all over the comments section. And the question of the day is, 
Who is your favorite Disney villain? For me, my favorite Disney villain, easy, it's gonna be Ursula. Poor unfortunate souls, I can sing that song while I'm taking a dump, while I'm taking a shower, it's just great. With that said, everyone, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next What The Funko. Take care, everybody.